Well, I'm in the fantastic city of Exeter, where I was once based as a young marine. And it really is, it really is a spectacular display of architecture. Unbelievable place. And just back there, is the pub, the Turk's Head, the famous Turk's Head where we drank as recruits and training. And uh, yeah, many a many a wild one in there. Down the hill you've got Taunton Leisure where we used to spend our crappy wages on bits of kit that we needed for training and then we would be drunk in that pub and leave our bags and have to get the bus back on a Sunday and collect our goodies. Now, just here, 25 years ago, I had a broken tibia, right? And I was in crutches, walking up here one Saturday afternoon with Peter Williams, one of the Williams brothers from Liverpool, a boxing family, and my other mate, a Londoner, Alex Evans, who was a cage fighter, one of the original London shoot fighters. And a squad of travellers came down and set about us. Needless to say, all hell broke loose. I was with two seriously tough guys. And I had a set of aluminium crutches and I knew how to swing them while hopping about on my dodgy leg. So we had a, a mass brawl in the middle of the street. And uh, yeah, let's just say it was it was over pretty quickly. Not 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 through any of my efforts I might add. I was with a very, very tough Londoner and a very tough scouser who I was eighteen years of age, nineteen years of age, they they were probably twenty five, they were quite a bit older than me and I they done the business. <laughs> Oh, that shoe shop's been here for years. I can remember going in there. So, we used to be round about here and there was a a gang in Exeter way back then. The Sly Crew, they were called. The Exeter Sly Crew. And they used to try and single out young recruits and fill them in. So we would come down Team Handy and go looking for them. And as you do, you know, have a bit of a shindig. This is Exeter Cathedral. This was started around the, the about 1050. I believe its foundations were laid. It's a kind of Norman kind of gothic, you know, cathedral. Incredible. I think it was completed as it stands around about four, the 14, mid 1400s. And it's one of the best examples in the whole of uh, Europe. It's got one of the most incredible roofs inside. Unfortunately, it's shut. But it's unbelievable. It's got the most astonishing ceiling. It, it's just out of this world. And I remember being inside it. It's an incredible building. Here's the, the George Cross flying up the top. Rightly so, but in England. It's an astonishing, astonishing building. Absolutely incredible, look at it. It's magnificent. If you're ever in Exeter, come and see that cathedral. You don't need to be religious, I've got no interest in it. I've got an interest in architecture and that is a work of art. I mean, you're talking about, you know, a 500 year old masterpiece that stood the test of time. And it's got the most intricate stonework. The spires are out of this world. The windows are out of this world. And the footings for it must be incredible. The foundations must be astonishing. And it's set in a huge area, which I can imagine, I can picture people being here all those years ago. It's a shame that the front's not lit up properly because see all of this stonework here. This is just, it's just another level altogether. And how it stood the test of time is beyond me.
like it's sandstone withers, but look at that doorway. Look at that doorway, look at that. Look at that stonework. Now that just carries on all the way through there. All the way through that carries on and that ceiling in there is out of this world. So if you're here, if you're ever in this area, come and see it, you will be astonished. It's a masterpiece. It's an absolute masterpiece. Another one of my favourites is a way out in the east coast, uh, Ely Cathedral. It actually appears through an arch in the front of one of the Pink Floyd albums. You can just make it out and no more. Ely Cathedral. And that's also uniquely stunning. But Exile's an amazing place. It's some city. Incredible old, you know, uh, Tudor kind of high streets and buildings. Some of these pubs are like for the 15, 1600s. And they're literally still original. The, you know, some would have been fire damaged, some would have been restored, but a lot of them are still original. So I was here obviously doing a little bit of awareness on my other page, on Facebook, that's done. I'm just going to get a cup of tea and get on the road. I'm heading over towards Pompey, over Portsmouth Way. So I'm going along the south coast, along through the Jurassic Coast, uh, Jurassic Coast, Isle of Purbeck, Dorset. Pool, passing by. Before I go, I'll just nip through here and I'll quickly show you the legendary Turk's Head pub in Exeter. Where every Marine that ever went through Lampston came for his Saturday day out after it was like week 12 Baptist run when you were actually allowed to come down to the town. Prior to that, you were confined to camp in the cheap, warm Carling or Foster's in the Naffy, which was like paint stripper. Right, we're approaching the Turk's Head. While I was standing here earlier, it was just closing, and I met two young guys and a young girl, Emily, Sam, and Ben. They'd been in there for a beer. This is it. This is the Turk's Head. It's like literally like four or five hundred years old, and it's it was shut down for a f and then it's opened again. It was a sh shop or something, a coffee shop, back to a pub. This is exactly as it as I remember it, and it's got the legendary writing and all that. It's all been done again the way it was. And I met, I met them here and we spoke for ages. They were asking me about the work I do and they were a lovely trio of young people. Really polite, articulate, intelligent, great manners. Just lovely to talk to. Emily, Ben and Sam, thanks for your time. It was a real pleasure meeting you. And I hope you see this. A wee thank you to you for giving me your time. Well, guys, that's Exeter. It really is some place. It's worth a visit. It's worth a visit. Anywhere where the architecture's as amazing as this is definitely worth anybody's time. I mean, look at these buildings. They're just phenomenal. Back in the day, there was a club down there called Butler's Nightclub. The old sticky floor we used to be in there. Oh, it was wild. Just wild. Just recruits. Troop loads of recruits. All with shaved heads and Ralph Lauren shirts that none of us could afford. Marching up and down here, you know, thinking we were already Marines, thinking we were the, the dog's danglies. Living the dream. Living the dream and skint, writing letters to our mums to send us money. Postal orders and cheques and £20 in the post to keep us going and beer tokens. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, that's me. Cup of tea and I'm, I'm hoofing it. Okie doke. Thanks.